Guys, are you sick and tired of when you want to pour gas, whether you're pouring gas or diesel, you cannot get the fuel to come out. It comes out in such a slow trickle. It drives you crazy. You're sitting there holding the can forever. Got a great fix. Doesn't take long. It's an easy upgrade. Come on and I'm going to show you how. So guys, I'm very lucky. Some of the cans I've got are older, but they're not the old good kind, meaning they don't have a vent in them. Uh, but the nice part is they don't have all of the filtering plastic that's right here. So it makes it, you don't have to worry about taking that out. So anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is there is a kit that you can get online. I'll show you that in just a second. But it is it allows you to put a vent right here so the can can breathe and you can get the fuel out so much faster. Doesn't take but a few minutes to install this. It's very fast and easy. So let's get started. So if you go on Amazon and you just search the fuel valves for the gas cans uh, or the breather valves, uh, there's all kinds of choices. This is the particular one I chose. It's pretty cool. It's a six pack. It came in this little plastic container. It has the instructions on how to do it. Comes with a wrench, comes with a drill bit, and it comes with uh, the fitting vents that you have here. This is the vent, the vent here. It's got a little screw off valve so you can loosen it or take it completely off to let it breathe. Has two O-rings, one for each side of the can, and it even comes with a wire for you to fish it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, once you've got your hold uh, drilled, you need to fish this through to the cap. You just kind of make your wire like in an arc, and you just fish it through like so. And just come over on this side. It's not hard to, to get this worked up. Just be patient. All right, so the first part is the spin-off valve that comes off. This is your locking nut. And unscrew that all the way. And please take note of the way the washer is. See, it's kind of beveled. The reason it's that way is it will work its way to, around the O-ring when you put that back together. And then you have two O-rings and you want to pull, work one of these out like so. It's not hard, just keep, just keep working it back and forth with your fingers. Be careful not to damage. All right, once you get it to this point, now you are ready to hook it up to the wire so you can fish it in. And I'll show you that next. So we're gonna put it on like this and then you just bend the wire 90 degrees around the end to hold it from falling off. And now we fish it through. All right, you can see that pops up that easy. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to put on is your O-ring. That goes down like so. And you just fish that around. Now you put on the washer and remember how it needs to be beveled. So we let that fall down in. Now we have our locking nut. Well, look at here, Mr. Come on, dude. Mr. Bumblebee. I don't need to have you get in my way today and I don't want to cause you no problem. Just go on. Just go on, Mr. Bumblebee. Come on in. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Go away. Thank you. Well, I get your heart rate up a little bit. Alrighty. Alright, so once you get this, then you use the tool supplied. Run it down with your finger as far as you can. And then start tightening them up. Now if you remember, there's now a rubber washer on a rubber O-ring on the bottom side. There's one on the top. We have pulled them down and compressed it so this should not leak. And now the last part that goes on is you screw this on. And so now you've got a vent. And so now this can can breathe when you go uh, discharge. And guys, I'll tell you what, we're gonna grab some diesel and we're gonna experiment and see how big the difference is. Difference is. So guys, I just got back from grabbing some gas for our diesel rubber. And we're gonna test this thing out and see how she does. I, uh, I got a feeling it's gonna make a huge difference this one in particular um, is you kind of got a bear hug, the, the five gallon jug, and so if I can speed up the, 
the time or make it quicker for it to empty it out so I don't have to hold it so long, this is gonna be great. So anyway, here's my can. I'm gonna pull the vent off the back. I'm gonna take the vent, it just you can screw it all the way off if you want, and I'm going to, so I can let all the air in. And let's see how this thing does. Wow, I can tell a major difference already. Can you hear the air? <laughs> that is a big, big difference. Well, guys, I hope you found this video very informative. If you will, please consider hitting the like, share, and subscribe for me. Still working hard trying to build my channel, and I would that helps so much when you guys do that. Guys, remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. I hope to be getting back making videos. I haven't been able to make them in a while because we have had two hurricanes come through the area and everything is so saturated. So that's why I'm kind of getting time to do these kind of projects. Guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and we'll see you soon.